for your glory, Lord. In you, O oh Father, can only we stand. Nothing else, no other way is, is only in the way of Jesus. Oh, Jesus is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. Receive him today and be blessed because the greatest miracle today you can receive is Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, <laughs> glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus, glory to your holy name, oh, the name that is above every, every name, the, above the earth and the heavens, oh, glory to your holy name, thank you, Father, for the glory hour, thank you for this manifestation of your power, the Bible says you receive power, unto salvation by the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for joining us today. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. you know, um, thank you so much, Zoe. You are so filled with, drunk, inebriated by the power of the Holy Ghost. You know, um, I, I want to, today is the 18th edition of Glory Hour, and I want to just have a little bit of a recap, if, if I may, and particularly the last three Glory Hours, just so that we can just keep growing in our minds and our paradigms about what God is, is doing. But um, first of all, I, I want to say, I want to express my, my joy at having um, not only you that are here on the Zoom with me, but those who faithfully watch on, on Facebook, in, including uh, Vicky Shepherd, who's always there uh, hanging out for us and keeping an eye on things. And the Lord took me back, Kemi, the Lord took me back to, um, it's, it's 20, 25 years ago now. 25 years ago, I used mm. to have some running, running mates pursuing God. We would meet in my house, it was the end of a little uh, cul-de-sac in uh, Kungi in Bodija. And Wale uh, Pukwala, uh, um, you, you know, pastor, pastor's a big church. He was part of that group. And we would just pursue God. Every Sunday mm -hmm. evening, we weren't going to church at that time. They were, we'd, we were in between church, churches. But every Sunday evening, we would just meet, we would just meet to pursue God. That was wow. it. And we we got into different churches, and then Kemi and I met up when when I was uh, linked with New Covenant Church, and again every Sunday night here with just with just three others, we would just pursue God for hours. We would just pursue God, and um, you know I, I want to say what a joy it is to have you, Kemi. You know, linking us, God linking us together, pursuing God, and. And you're like, you, you are so hungry for God, you know, just pursuing God and, and Rachel and Zoe and, uh, and I'm from, you know, and, and others, Jane and of course my wife, others who aren't here. That, that's our heart, just to pursue God. But, but, but I want to say this, that when God finds a group of people that pursue him, there always will be placed at the cusp of a special move. Anytime mm -hmm. it happens. Anytime God gets the hunger level, and, and I want to refer to what Kemi shared um, three, three glory hours back, where she was talking about consecration, uh, how the consecration would lead us to the flow of the, the river of glory. Now, now here, here's, here's something for you. Here's a word of wisdom for you. You can tell your level of consecration by your level of hunger. You know, for some people, they're, they're just not hungry. They're just not hungry. And it's often because little things have come in which have dampened the consecration. But the greatest, one of the greatest, I, I, I say there are two great gifts that heaven has, hunger and joy. Hunger, he gives hunger. Hu hunger, you see, when you are hungry, hunger is a currency. You use hunger to buy things in the realm of the spirit. Just like you go to um, Tesco or Walmart or wherever you are, you know, Food Co. If you're, if you're in Nigeria, you know, you go there with, with the currency to buy. In the realm mm. of the spirit, when God wants to make you rich, he makes you hungry. Whoa. whoa Did you get that? Whoa. He makes you hungry. Whoa. Because whenever you hunger, it's a currency. When you hunger for something, God's going to give it to you. Oh, oh. 
the, the amazing thing is when he's given you that, you now get hungry again. So hunger is the key to promotion. Come on. Hunger. Hunger. So, so when, when Kemi was talking, and, and it, it was a theme for one or two, uh, this theme about consecration, God is saying, consecrate yourselves. And, and then Sid read Isaiah 55. Why do you buy money take, for, for that which doesn't satisfy you? Here, take, you, you know, that whole Isaiah 55 passage where, that, that Sid spoke about. It was about, here, have currency so that you can buy the real things. So, so hunger is being released to you. So I, I say this to, to encourage us all and really from the bottom of my heart to say, God, as, 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 as I feel so blessed to have running mates who are active in the pursuit of God, just, just, just hungry after God. And, and for those of you who are watching, I, I congratulate you on your hunger for God. So, so hunger is, is pivotal. And the, the other thing that God gives, the other great reward that God has is joy. <laughs> you know, and we over the last few weeks that that was touched on also that Hebrews one was touched on uh, because because you hated hated wickedness and loved righteousness. Therefore, God thy God has anointed you with the oil of joy. So it all comes from 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 consecration. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So you you know b b before I go on, Kemi, just 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 pray hunger on uh, more hunger on us if you will. Pray more hunger on us with if you will. Then I'll just hit on some other foundational points. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's um b before I pray. It's so profound uh, that you were talking about um, this hunger that brings more, this hunger that produces more of God. And it's a hunger that actually obliterates negativity and everything that God does not want. It's a hunger that burns like fire. It's a hunger that consumes and it just consumes you and you want more of God. And that's just what I had been meditating on before I came on to Glory Hour and God got me so engaged in it. He got me so engaged in the fire that consumes, the fire that illuminates, the fire that gives strength, the fire that's a siege work. And it's talking about the fire of God on the inside of you. It just consumes darkness. It consumes your faults and your failings. It consumes the works of darkness. It consumes evil. It consumes everything that is contrary to God. And it illuminates fire, illuminates like that self same fire that God sent before the children of Israel. The Bible says it gave them light. It illuminates, it wards off evil. When it illuminates, it wards off your anger. It wards off bad temper. It wards off immorality. It wards off the things that are not supposed to be on the inside of you because darkness is actually the absence of light. But where there is light, come on. It, just tells, it tells darkness, stay off. You can't come here. So when that, that fire, when it's on the inside of you, it just, it's like, it, 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 it's a strength. It just holds fast and it stays right there. And it says, darkness, you cannot come here. So all the shortcomings of your humanity yeah. are unable to appear when that fire is on the inside of you consuming the darkness, staving off evil, acting like a bulwark, acting yeah. like a speed walk, and it's a strength. Mm. Therefore, today, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I pray the fire of the living God into every soul under the sound of my voice, that the fire of God most high will enter onto the inside of you and consume the darkness, will illuminate the darkness, will stand against the darkness, will eat you up and begin to burn fierce, producing the righteousness of God, illuminating every area of your life and destiny that wherever you stand up darkness has no access that wherever you stand up the righteousness of god will take over the hunger of god will consume you and produce more and more and more and more of god in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen
Amen, 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 amen. I see that hunger flowing. Let's just unmute our mic, just pray in the Holy Ghost for a few seconds. Hunger. I'm just seeing the river of hunger flowing. Hunger, hunger, hunger to see. Hunger to pass for him. Hunger to pray. Hunger to spend time in the word. Hunger. Yes, Lord. Hunger. Yes, Lord. Hunger. yes, Lord. Enough yes, Lord. Just, just pray that again. Pray and release hunger mm. to consume people. Please excuse my mic uh, a video just That's at the fine. work environment. Yeah. Father, we, we just thank you. We, we honor you. As, as uh, Dr. Kemi was sharing, uh, I heard, you know, follow, following after righteousness. You know, there, there's a following after. It's, it's all consuming. It's uh, uh, directional. It's focused. And it doesn't take distraction. Uh, distractions uh, doesn't allow other things in the way and uh, I was you know coming on the glory hour you know after having such a a, a, a challenge or some challenges this morning uh, coming into the workplace you know and um, the, the 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 thought came uh, you, you you need to take a break and I said no this is where I need to be and and the enemy will try to distract you he will do all he can because he knows that once you get the, the alignments in the spirit, he cannot touch anything. He will try, but he cannot touch the preciousness of this hunger. And so we, we pray right now into this hunger that it will only be fueled even by what the enemy tries to do. It will only be <laughs> strengthened by the uh, uh, vicissitudes of life. It will only be uh, moved, we will be moved into the presence of God. David said, he said, one thing I have desired mm. that I may yeah. dwell in the presence of the Lord. Yes. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire yes. in his temple. For yes. in the time of trouble will he hide me in his pavilion. This is the secret. Mm. This is the recipe to being covered, protected, to being a shielded, to, to being a, a, equipped, to be all that you need is in his presence. David said, he said, when I was angered, using my words now, about the prosperity of the wicked, he said, I inquired, I went into your temple, I went into the sanctuary, and then I understood yeah. And then I understood, beloved, we don't have any other uh, 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 blessing than this. It is his presence. It is his presence. It is that place, that secret place that down, allows downloads from the divine. Even when things happening in your life or happening around you might not sink yet, just Find that place, that sweet spot, that place of, of, of strength in him. Uh, and I'm telling you, this is the strength that we believers need in this time. And so, Father, I pray for as many, even on Facebook Live, even uh, uh, on Zoom that are here, that are connecting once again, hallelujah, to this, to this place, to this, to your heart. Lord, once again, that there will be downloads downloads, 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 that in your presence, there'll be fullness of joy. <laughs> That's the connection in his presence. There's fullness of joy at his right hand, our pleasures evermore in Psalm 16. So there's a connection with the hunger and with joy. That connection we have just, you've just hit it on the head, Servant Robin, that joy and hunger, hunger and joy. Hunger and joy. So right now we flow in the spirit, in the dimension of joy. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. <laughs> the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I was just laughing here in my uh, consulting room here. Out there, and I was just saying, uh, 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 you know, you know, devil, you've always lost it. Always. And we, I, we flow in joy because that gives us the victory and the upper hand over any and everything that the enemy tries to shoot at us. And so, Lord, we just honor you. The joy of the Lord is our strength. In his presence, 
we there's fullness of joy and so right now we connect with the fullness of his joy yes. as we say in the mighty name of jesus Christ. amen amen thank you so much for that and form. so yes, we come Lord. together in the pursuit of god and we are running mates we're we're running together and we're pursuing him we're pursuing all his goodness all his blessing mm -hmm. and that's a gift rachel that's a gift god has given you to be hungry for him and to be filled with joy oh, yes. now i was trying to define the glory of god and i came up with this that i often say that it's the unmistakable influx of the god's head's eternal majesty grandeur and power pervading and tarrying over and around his people it's like god just steps into the room and we hear the sound that's what adam and eve heard they, they would hear the sound of god walking in the garden they would they would hear his glory come <laughs> his glory would come in and that is that is the that is the core of who we are in glory hour to pursue that and to pursue that and so last week and it's a combination of all god's been doing but last week somebody saw this reservoir or somebody saw this mountain who was seeing the mountains and the plateaus it's maybe they're not here today but was that you no it was me you you were seeing the mountain and a plateau of, with water on the like in a reservoir and okay I, I yes and somebody else saw the plateaus too i think it was just sir yeah going from level to, maybe it was a so what we saw was that there was a particular reservoir filled with the glory of god but it was placed on the top of a mountain right on the top of a mountain Lorioke in my in my native language, it was placed right at the top of a mountain. Now it was placed there for us. But I saw that as we ascend to the top of that mountain and we jump inside that river, that we cause there to be an avalanche, an overflow of floods of glory. But the Lord was saying that we need to recognize it's like he's given us as, as a team, a relational team of friends in the pursuit of God. He's given us this place. And then we saw that he's giving us tools to get to the top of the mountain. Because that glory, when people taste of that glory, they, 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 they become addicted. So I used to have a t-shirt called glory addict. You taste that glory, you become addicted to it isn't that right and i you taste the glory you become an, 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 addict, an addict you know I, I just quickly say this and i'm, I'm you know i just quickly say this you know in uh, 10 years ago 2009 2010 i went along on protracted periods of waiting on god 40 days 90 days 12 days you know I'd, I'd go to america and just bury myself there so when i came back and i tried to attend the church service it tasted like we call salad you know when you've had salad in the fridge and it's a week old everything is so everything is just oh yuck because i have been feeding on the glory so lord rachel rachel just just pray that god would make us glory addicts pray, pray that for us then I'll, I'll carry on oh lord thank you because you are so willing to pour out this glory on us oh lord jesus may we climb higher 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 to reach you, to find you. Let us not be satisfied with old food, Lord. Help us come every morning to your lake where you will fill us. You will fill us. You're so faithful. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Amen. 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 Now, the thing about this is, I love the way one preacher puts it. We move from thanksgiving to praise, from praise to worship, from worship to glory. It's increasing depth and increasing levels. And so th there are tools that God has given us and he's gonna be giving us more to be able to get to that mountain and tap of that sweet glory. And three of the tools that I, I, I'll, mention, I'll mention to us, you know, one of the tools, just one sec, so I'll just mention the tools then I, 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 I'll call, you, call on you. One of the tools 
is that we learn that as we are climbing the mountain into the glory, we learn the grace to hold on to prayer burdens. So sometimes as we're climbing the mountain, we receive a burden, a burden from our spirit and from the spirit of God. And we want to release it. But if we release it, we cut short our journey on the mountain. And so sometimes, particularly when it comes to ministering to people, to prayer burdens, we need to hold on to those things until we get to the pinnacle. And often when we get, to, then, we, then we release them when we get to the pinnacle because we're climbing a mountain. So with young believers, if you're doing a praise or worship and you leave it open, a young believer will start interjecting. They'll say, oh, can we pray this? Can we do this? And you have to, you have to let them know that, no, 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 no. We're not settling. Don't, don't bring in prayer burdens. Don't bring in your needs yet. Let's still keep carrying the mountain. That's one tool that God has given us and we need to recognize. The, 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 the second tool is linked to it. The second tool is this. When there is a, we need to learn again, the practice of waiting on God. Because you reach a certain level. And then as you get to that level, there's silence. And again, with the un uninitiated, they think that that silence is the time that, oh, we, we mustn't have silence. We must come in. We must bring something in. We must bring another song. We must do this. No, 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 no. We need to understand when the silence is like the silence in heaven, we are just, a, we are, as we are in silence, we are in a transitionary moment to a new dimension of glory. I'll never, rem I'll never forget one of my greatest experiences with the glory of God was at Ashburnham Place. And we we're having a great time. The worship was great. Everything was great. And in this particular meeting, the stillness of God came on us. And we waited. And I, I was leading the meeting and I thought we'd waited for long enough. And I was just about to speak. And Elaine was sitting at the back and she suddenly said, she said, Robin, wait. Less than a minute after, it was like somebody poured water into the, into the, into the, into the hall. Foom. The glory of God came in and we were all just rolling and groaning on the floor. What happened? I got, I was about to get tired of waiting. And I know we've all been there where there's, there's a time you're sent in the presence of God and you're waiting. But then particularly if you are leading a meeting, if you're coordinating a meeting, people begin to, you know, it's difficult to keep people just, just waiting. Just, just wait. <laughs> they want to do something. It's now, this is, people in the... People, in, you know, at the turn of the 20th century, Kenneth Hagen would speak of waiting meetings yeah. where you just wait. Yeah. And you keep waiting until his glory now cascades in. So that's the second tool that, that he wants to give us. Before I go on to the third tool, yes, Zoe, you, you wanted to say something there. Yes, it was when you were saying how you get to the glory, you said it so quickly. I wanted to make a list. So I, it was oh. what you were saying that you were saying. You go Thanksgiving. Yes. From Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Well, actually, there's one before Thanksgiving. Okay. There's heart searching. So start with heart searching. Heart searching, stroke repentance. Now we as we as mature believers, we do that all the time. But for a young believer, you, you need to remind them. So the first is heart searching. The second one is Thanksgiving. Then praise then worship, then there's another one that I'll put in, which is another of the point, then there's prophetic singing, and then the glory. Okay, so we climb, now with most churches, now I, I, I tell you, I'll tell us this very quickly, with most churches, they don't get to the to the depths of the glory for for two reasons. One is they always start out of court because the people aren't taught that before you come to church, come with thanksgiving so that we can get into the higher dimension straight away. And the other the other reason is 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 a, a lack of discernment. 
So there's a certain level of glory and the preacher for the day or the person leading the meeting thinks, oh, let's do the announcements now. <laughs> or it begins to minister too soon. A lack of discernment. And the third reason is obvious, you know, just run out of time. You know, a dear friend, um, um, Andrew, Andrew Eze, you know, in, uh, just on the phone with my daughter, who, who's part of the worship team of, at PPM, you know, they, they've been, the, the last few, it's almost like a month, more than a month, they, they've been doing the worship three, three, four hours <laughs> every Sunday. They go, they swim and swim and swim and swim and swim. Okay. So we, we, we need to learn this and we need to teach our people this. So I was, I was talking about, yeah, Ariella, you wanted to say something too. Oh, um, you know, I remember Benny Hill used to go, just a second. <laughs> we would wait and wait and wait. And when people are just like, ah, oh, and then he would just say that and say, stop. <laughs> yes. I, I hear what you're saying. Yes. We, 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 we need to be people. strong leaders. Hmm. We need to be strong leaders. Now, now, two things about leadership. One is it's impossible to take the people where you've not been yourself. So as people call to the apostolic and the prophetic, we must regularly have those depths of intimacy and experience the glory of God in our spirits. Because when we've been there, we are able to navigate a meeting towards it. And I like what you said about body head, because sometimes you have to be strict. You can't, because if you allow the anointing to dissipate, then <laughs> until tomorrow, you can't get it again. So sometimes as leaders, we have to be strict, gentle, but strict. Say, no, just, just hold it. Just hold it. Because people will want to, they'll want to come in. But you're going somewhere, so you say, hold it. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious spirit of God. Thank you, precious spirit of God. So, thank you, precious spirit of God. The Holy Spirit has just put me on pause. So let's, let's just wait before him and let these things sink in. Ariella, just sing a song of intimacy to the Lord, if you will. I was just singing, your praises will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. I will give you praise. I'll give you praise. Angels and saints sing, worthy are you, Lord. We will give you praise. We will give you praise. Angels and saints sing, worthy are you, Lord. Praise. Ooh ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will 
ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That you're worthy. It's all worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has paused me for a moment, even though there's still more I'd like to share. Is anybody picking something up in the spirit? Okay. He's calling us to a new level of, it's an aspect of consecration. And it's, he's wanting us to He's wanting us to receive this gift of stillness from him. He's wanting us to receive this gift of stillness from him. The ability to be still and just wait. Holy Spirit, we receive this gift from you. We receive this gift from you. The Lord takes me back to when I was growing in the spirit. And one of my church leaders back then, um, great man of God, uh, Olubi Johnson of Scripture Pastor Christian Center. He would say that we would, as leaders of his church, we would have to pray for um, three hours every Sunday evening in the Holy Ghost. And I remember one evening I was getting tired and he had to come and encourage me and say, no, you press in by reason of use, you, you press in. And the Lord reminded me of that because for people who are young in praying in the spirit, particularly those who don't come from a, Af a, a, a West African background, they find it difficult to persist. But in the same vein, the Lord is saying that he wants us to learn to exercise ourselves in the gift of stillness. Because it's something that is a muscle that we don't often use. Particularly in a, in a setting of a meeting like this, to just be still. We, we, you know, you begin to itch on the inside. You begin to want to say something. But the Lord is saying it's a spiritual discipline that he wants us to begin to engage in. And the, 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 the timing is coming to my mind that, that five minutes, it's like he's giving us, I was talking about tools to access the glory reservoir. And one of them is stillness. So he's, he's saying to us that as part of, just like we meet every Thursday like this and we worship, we pray, we praise, we do, we prophesy. He's also saying that he wants there to be Five minutes where we're just quiet is is a discipline. It's a discipline. It's a discipline. But he's is is giving up to us as a tool that we will use to be able to reach that reservoir. It's a tool he wants to give us. Hallelujah. And Allah, just just pray pray that for us. Just receive as we receive that tool. Daddy, we receive this tool of stillness that we may draw draw from you and receive everything you have for us thank you for giving us the grace in this busy world of busy schedules to just take time and be still i desperately need that dad thank you for answering in jesus name amen amen Amen. Thank you, Father. So what we're going to do is we're going to just be still before him. 
I, I'm so itching to, to, to share these other tools. <laughs> but we're just going to be still before him for the next five minutes. We just be still. Lord, we just still before you.
So we've waited his fragrance has come among us. As we've waited, we've come up the mountain. We're in the reservoir. And as we're in this reservoir, the Lord brings me back to what I was sharing earlier as I was reviewing the last few meetings. And the Lord brings me back to what Stuart shared. There's a glory that needs to wash us from within, that prepares us to carry the weight of glory without. Two Corinthians chapter three and four speaks of temporary afflictions that prepares us to carry the weight of glory. And so wherever we are now, on the Zoom, on the Facebook, you just bath yourself. Picture that you're in that reservoir. And just take a bath. Just take a bath. And the Lord washes you and purges you and purifies you. We take a bath. We take a bath the presence of the Lord. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold. Do you know that song in Omphon? Not totally. Or just sing a version you know about a purifier. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold and still silver. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold and silver. Um, Refine as fire, my heart's one. Whoever knows it can help me, please. Is it me? Set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. So the Lord is showing that every time we come on the glory hour, we must remember what Stuart gave us, what came from the Lord through Stuart. It's not just a glory to be released, to enjoy the presence, not just a glory that will see healings and the flow of ministry that comes. 
But we must always remember that there's a glory he's creating on the inside of us. Mm. An internal, an internal, Amen. an eternal, internal cleansing out of the glory. This is another Amen. tool that God is giving us. Anytime we come into the glory, allow the glory to refine us more inside. To refine us more inside. Do you want to pray that for us, Ariola? That the glory would refine us inside. Father, do whatever you need to do in us. Mm. We offer our lives to you as it is written. It says we should offer our lives as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable and pleasing to you. Do with us whatever you wish to do, Lord. As we live in the altar, yes. do the walk in us, yes. do the pruning, do the sanctifying and the washing, yes. and sculpting, yes. removing everything that doesn't look like you, and blowing away all the chaff. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. You see, it's possible, and history is replete with men and women of God like this, who are used tremendously to do signs, wonders, and miracles, but on the inside remain unchanged. God doesn't want that for us. He doesn't want that for us. And so we must consciously drink of the glory of for inner transformation every time the glory comes. We mustn't think the glory is just there to minister to the people. We must partake of the glory and receive cleansing on the inside. Now, I tell you why, why God is saying all these things. Remember I said that whenever a group of people come together to pursue him, they are on the cusp of a new move of God. There's a move of God coming where... We may not be able to meet like this as often as we are because we will be leading massive networks, massive movements. And God wants us to remember the lessons we're learning here that in 10, 15 years time, if the Lord tarries, we can look back and say, I learned something. Because the other thing God told us to pray about, and we're really praying for ourselves, is pray for the release of apostolic key holders and prophetic gatekeepers. Every move of God, particularly in these end times, has what we call apostolic gatekeepers, prophetic key holders. The manifestations of the move of God will not occur in certain spheres unless we go there physically and minister and release it. This is what happened in Acts of Apostles in the church in Samaria. They hadn't received the Holy Ghost and Jerusalem had to send Peter and John to them. Antioch was also thriving, but it needed something and the leaders of Jerusalem sent Barnabas there. There are among us, I believe that each of us that are here on the Zoom and many that are watching, God is wanting to release grace to us to be apostolic gatekeepers and key holders that as we experience what he's about to release in terms of manifestations of the glory he will trust us and we will go to nations of the world we will go to continents of the globe and release these manifestations we're going to pray the last we're going to pray that for ourselves again and with one other prayer when we met last week, somebody saw that there were, it was Jane who saw that there were cherubims given to guard the glory of God. They were to guard the glory of God. And we need to pray that God would give us wisdom and God would have mercy on us. That these cherubims wouldn't be guarding the glory from us, but they would be guarding it for us.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, Rebecca, I want you to unmute your mic and pray for us that God would count us worthy to receive this mantle, to operate and function as apostolic gate holders, prophetic key holders, to be able to access the glory of God, the manifestations of the glory of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we come before you this hour. Oh, Karabusu, Tayana, Shekeribus. Oh, Kuda, Dabakun, Tayara, Bakusu, Taya. Makuta, Rakusi, Ketia, Makusunda, Rakaye, Keteke, Buku, Kaki, Akenta, Bakusotu. Rakata, Baku, Sheketa, Mukuya, Raki, Sekete, Buku, Yantara. Yina makuso koti kata bako shata buku sata ya bakasoto maluka ni yari kara kuta ike seke boko shanta ika rabako sete mako eke eboko san iyara namasi teke te boko shita ya ko ya mako seke ari ya bako santa ya masheke lebo soto yanda ya bakata ya. Marika taba kosoko tobo shanta ya masika taba. Katuba ya takasa tama kuya taba sheke tebu. Akuya na masoto yente reke yanti yama. Yeteke yebo koson. I am releasing my glory, my oye, the manto. Katu ya na makaseke te. Marika tabaku ya raba soko tobo. You receive it na ko yanda ba sheke de. As ye have heard soko yanda ba. As my ears have heard karaba soko yanda. I am releasing my mantle of the gatekeeper soko yanda ba. My key is already in your hands. Oko yanda ba kasete boko so. To go to every corners of the karada ba kosanda ya ba. Wherever I send you, you go kanda ba yeteke de. You have my authority, Kanta Yaba You have my authority, Kata Basoko do Yandaba. I have already released my apostolic grace and mantle upon ya. Kuta Basheke Teboko Sondo Yandaba. Bakota Yaba Kaseke Teboko Daya. The prophetic gatekeeper are already here. Marukon Taba Seke Tebo. Arrive, Kata Basoko. As you align with my will, Makashanda Yaba. I will show you the way ke re re bo sondo marike te bo ko sondo yonda ba yanda ya makunda ya ba seke te re bo I am empowering you koro bo sonda ra receive power kanda ya ba seke re re bo receive power karanda ba seke re re bo sondo ya marike te bo sonda ya ba seke re re bo sonda marike te bo sonda ya release 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 receive release receive ike re Release, receive, 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 woo, receive, woo, receive, hey, 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 receive, Arabo Shandaya. Hey, mm. hallelujah. The key and the mantle is already given. <laughs> Go and do exploit. Use it, Arabo Shandaya. Hallelujah. Careful. In Yeshua Jesus' mighty name, he has spoken. Hallelujah. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, Carabo Sontaya Massacre, he was. Oh, I'm oh. seeing a consecrating oil, mm. and uh, I, I want to. Ask us to stand. You don't have to be on video if it's not convenient, but stand wherever you are mm. because the consecrating oil is coming. 
Mm. Consecrating oil is coming. Do you want to pray for us? I see a consecrating oil falling. Don't worry if you're not on video. It's okay. Just just stand with us as you are and just just pray. Pray as you can. Father, we receive your glory. When your glory came into the temple, when the temple was consecrated, the tabernacle was consecrated unto you. The Bible says that the glory of the Lord came into the temple, so much so that no one same thing happened when Solomon offered a thousand bullocks before you. The Bible says the glory of the Lord came into the temple so much so that nobody could minister. Father, as your oil of consecration comes upon us because your glory is here within us. Your glory is here in our midst. As we lay silent before you, your glory filled the temple. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As this oil comes upon us right now, Lord, we receive unction to function according to your plans and your purposes, according to your desires in the name of Jesus, that our hearts are consecrated in your presence for service, that our hearts are consecrated in your presence that our hearts are consecrated unto you to serve and to worship you all the days of our lives, that our hearts are consecrated for your use, that our lives are consecrated unto you, That from this moment onwards, oh Lord, we receive a new dimension. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. That's the spirit of the Most High God right now. Yes, le koko so prabo so prabo shika tariabo sakatoriabo. Yes, Lord. I bow in your presence, oh Lord. Ele kesu prabo so prabo shika katoriabo sakariaba. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I bow in your presence. Sakero ba kosha tariabo kosho toriabaro ba kosha ya. 
the presence of the Most High God is here in our midst to consecrate us. Kelly Kadona Gocha. Yes, the Lekonda Karobas to Kadalibo Shakada. Yes, Lord, I bow in your presence, O Lord, a Kedu Kanasu Prebozo Prabo Chikadaya, Ekoda Honda, Ekoda Honda, Ekoda Haya, Haya Koto, Haya Koto, Haya, Ireke Koto Koya Haya. Yes, 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 Yorado Boshi. Yes, Lord, yes, your fire of consecration is in our midst. Hello. Hello. Yes, that's the fire of the consecration of the most high. Oh, yes, your fire of consecration in our hearts. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's the fire of your consecration in our hearts, oh Lord. Your fire of consecration, Ali Kobaruba Kashada. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Lika Kotoria Boba And in your presence, all that is impure is consumed. And in your presence, all that will not work, the work of righteousness is consumed. And in your presence, all oh, that will not work, the work of God is consumed. And I see your presence, oh Lord, I feel your presence, I see your presence, I hear your presence. <laughs> and hearts are molded, Lord, as your consecration fire. Ulua <laughs> etobi. Etobi o etobi Kuseni tale fisha kawenyi o Etobi Kuseni tale fisha piwenyi o Etobi O lua Olua etobi etobi o etobi Olua etobi etobi o etobi Kosani tale fisha kaweni o Etobi Kuseni tale fisha piwenyi o Etobi Olua Father we give you praise hmm. We thank you for this that you do in our midst today We thank you for your presence that has come upon us like a fire we thank you for your consecration upon our hearts for service. We thank you for the new offices that you've bestowed upon us in this place today. We thank you for all your righteousness that has come upon us like never before. We thank you for your presence in our midst like never before. We thank you for your fire burning in our hearts like never before. We thank you, O oh Lord, for this call and this unction into this new place of righteousness, this new place of fire, this new place of productivity in you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your son, this new oil that is coming upon his head right now. This new oil that is coming upon his head right now. Thank you for this oil, this oil, this oil of consecration upon the head of your son right now. Thank you for you pouring this oil from this horn, this horn, this horn, this horn, this horn. I see this horn pouring this oil upon the head of your son right now. And I thank you for the oil on the faces of your children. I can see the faces of your children shining forth with this oil, this oil of gladness. This oil of gladness that has that you have poured on the faces of your children, on the faces of your children, this oil of gladness, this oil of gladness, this oil of gladness that you have consecrated us with here in this place today. 
Thank you for this fire. Thank you for this fire. I see fire in somebody's throat. There's a fire in your throat and I'm from. There's a fire in your throat and I'm from. There's a fire. There's a fire. I see a ball of fire in your throat and I'm from. I see a fire. I see a ball of fire in your throat and I'm from. Oh, this consecration is a fire. It's a fire. It's a power. It's a power. It's unto righteousness. It's the sanctification. It's a separation unto service, oh Lord. Oh, thank you for this fire on the head. Oh, this fire, this fire. Oh, even like those tongues of fire that came upon your, your children, your apostles, even in that hall, even in that room, even on, in that day, I see balls of fire on the on the heads of your children. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh hey, that ball of fire on your head, El Cabo Koshitaria. I realize the fire in your hands right now. Your hands are on fire. I see fire in your hands, all a cosy provojadolia, traveling through your arms, Alekodia Borabo Shadaya. To your shoulders, a kedile kaboria boshatari, and all over your body, kelekosi pravototori abashata. Fire in the name of Jesus. Maroko kosha katari. Zike keke toka su pravoto. Eshe keke toka su kapuva pasupa. Yes, Lord, I see fire. I see fire in the eyes of your children. That by your fire they shall discern, they shall discern, they shall discern. I see fire in your eyes, Rebecca, there's fire in your eyes. I see fire in your eyes, I see fire, there's a consecration going on in your eyes right now. There's a consecration going on in your eyes right now, Rebecca. There's a consecration going on, I see the children of God, there's someone being consumed. Hello, Shataria, with the fire of the righteousness of God. There's someone being consumed with the fire of the righteousness of God right now. Lika Koso Prabhu Sotaria. Hello, Shagadele Gadele Bosha. Oh, Lekesu Prabhu Sotaria. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Bakesu Prabhu Sotaria. Oh, Rachel, you've all always asked the Lord for a specific gift. And that gift is coming as a fire this afternoon. Oh, Rachel, I see the fire of the Lord God all over you. He said, I'm gifting you with my fire. A new fire, a new fire, a new fire for the work, Kali Kazuba. A new fire right there in your chest. You can feel the fire of consecration. Yes, Kali Kazuba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can, can we all unmute our mics and begin to pray in the spirit, please? There's a fire right now. There's a fire. There's a fire. Yes, <laughs> Yes, all over this place. All over this place, that's the fire of the living God all over this place. <laughs> Father, we give you 
<laughs> Ino emi mi mo Oya wa nu aye wa lo Yes yes Oh which you have done in our midst today. Mm. We thank you for your fire of consecration upon our lives and our destinies. Yes. We thank you for your presence in our midst. We mm. thank you for your consecration unto yourself. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your sanctification unto yourself. We oh. thank you for the new level, the new level, the new level mm. of intimacy, mm. the new level, the new level of communion that you have mm. gifted unto us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for new service. We thank you for new office. We thank you for new unction. Mm -hmm. Most especially, oh Lord, we thank you for your presence. Mm -hmm. 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 We thank you for your abiding presence, your manifest. Father, we give you praise. Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you. Be, uh, be thou exalted and magnified, O Lord. We ask that your presence will never leave us, O Lord. That your presence you will never forsake us, O Lord. That the fire of your presence will continually burn in us, O Lord. Even to effect all that you desire on the inside of us. Oh, Jehovah, we worship you. We continue in your presence, O Lord. We continue in your presence, O Lord. We continue in your presence, O Lord. May we never, ever, O Lord, recover from your presence. May we never, ever, O Lord, recover from your presence. May we never, ever come out of your fire, O Lord. May the, your fire on the altar of our hearts, the altar of our lives, never burn out, O Lord. May it never. Mareko Shaka, O Sika Kadia Busa, Mekos. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Precious, precious, precious. Thank you, precious. Thank you, precious. Thank you, precious.